Good morning and happy Monday. We made it. Woo! This is cause for celebration. This morning, I want to talk to us about letting go. People, wonderful people, certain days we gotta let go. Certain people got to let go. Listen, we can't help everybody. We can't help some people, we just can't reach. Let it go. And you know, that's why Jesus told his um, disciples when he sent them out two by two, if you enter into a place and they don't receive you, shake the dust off your feet against them. You know, and the Bible also said we got to lay aside every sin, every weight and the sin that so easily beset us. And we got to run this race with patience. Listen, we got to lay aside some things. You know what you have to lay aside. I know what I have to lay aside. Some of us, it's that bottle, that alcohol bottle. We got to lay that aside. Some of us, all them cheating and stink, you got to lay it aside. Some of them who playing with God, we got to lay that aside. Some of them who gossip it, you got to lay it aside. This red fly in your mouth, you got to lay it aside. Because guess what? It causing plenty of schism in the, in, in the body of Christ, on your job, in your business, in your city. In your country, in the world, you gotta lay it aside. You know, you got to lay aside, lay them aside. We like to hold on to things, we like to hold on to people to our detriment. You know, and I always think about what Dr. Monroe said a while back. He said, Everything that is good is not right. We and all these different um, organizations and this, oh, this um, board and this and that. It might be good, but it not might. It may not be right for you. So we got, we got, we got to use discernment. We got to use wisdom in this season. You know, and we gotta lay those things aside. We gotta lay them aside. They ain't making no sense. And you know, sometimes when people walk out our life, you know, you're, you're extra blessed when they walk out on their own. Don't, don't try hold them um, back. Don't try to keep them. Let them go. God blessing you. God doing you a favor. Let them go. You can't help them. Let them go. I learned, I learned a while back. Certain people you just can't reach. And you know why? Because Jesus said it the best, a prophet. Now I say, no, I'm, I'm no prophet. But this is what Jesus said. A prophet is never accepted in his own hometown. And you know, Jesus, certain places, Jesus couldn't do no miracles. Because of unbelief. Because the people, the people, you know what they used to say? Oh, that's Mary boy. Oh, that's Joseph's son. So then they didn't afford him that respect, that courtesy, that fate. See, and that's another thing with familiarity. When people become so familiar with you, they don't see all that gift and all that glow and all that anointing God have on you. You miss and slip. And say something out the way or do something out the way. That's it. Your whole reputation go on. <laughs> they remember that for generations. But oh, do something good. Say something good. Mm -mm. They'll, they'll forget that in a couple minutes. Not even at the end of the day. <laughs> I don't know why it's that way. But that's just the way it is. It's hard to say. Yeah, so I just want to say, you know, we got to lay aside certain things we know what we know what 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 ain't good for us we know with some of us we gotta lay our plate aside we gotta lay that plate down you're eating too much um, um junk food and all these different stuff what ain't working for your body it working against you 
you know, so we know exactly what we need to do. So let's start today. Let us start today. And that's all I have to say. So have a wonderful day. God bless you. And may you have, may your day be great all through the week. So peace out from the 242, honey.